Hey sports fans, Coach Nick here and welcome to B-Ball Breakdown. Game 4 between the Cavaliers and Raptors was epic. After Toronto built a big lead, they saw it slowly dwindle. The apprehension was in the air as it just seemed inevitable that the Cavaliers were going to take control of this game and the series. It certainly felt that way here when early in the fourth quarter, Lowry inexplicably grabs Delvadova for a costly offensive foul and turnover and their four point lead looked precarious. Here's when the Cavaliers did something we rarely, if ever, see. They ran the same set over and over again, going on a scoring spree and demonstrating each progression with shot after shot. Horns rub is what it's called, and here's the double high post horns alignment, high post entry pass, and watch the point guard cut through the middle and set a back screen for the weak side high post. The point guard then comes around for the handoff, and as Patterson bumps down to LeBron who is rolling hard, Fry lifts to the open three point spot and quick release splashes this one down. Here's one of the fastest releases you'll see, and there wasn't much, if anything, Patterson could do to stop it. Same play except Biombo's on Fry and Patterson guards LeBron. This time, LeBron keeps his eye on Jefferson as he cuts off the back screen. Joseph leaves a beat early, DeRozan is a hair late, and a great pass from LeBron. This forces Biombo to bump down and Jefferson makes the pass to Fry in the corner who gets the tiniest sliver of daylight for the three. This time they run it through with Deli coming around for the handoff after back screening. Patterson gets stuck trying to contain the ball and watch the roll man. Biombo has to stick with Fry and LeBron gets the easy dunk. It looks like the Cavs were all set to run this again, but LeBron sees an opening and Patterson can't keep this freight train from running. And neither can Biombo as LeBron lays it in. Down one they run it again and this time the Raptors switch the back screen. Of course, this gets the smaller Joseph on Richardson. Great read by LeBron to lob it right over him. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. For the seventh time, they run this same action. This time, they don't have to switch the back screen and cover it well. Patterson is so concerned with LeBron rolling, he sticks closer to him, and this just lets Delavidova throw in a runner. At this point, the Cavs get out of horns and run a simple ball screen with LeBron and Delhi. With Fry lifting, it takes Biombo out of the paint. Delhi completely misses LeBron wide open at the rim. But when Fry gets it to him down low, the Raptors' weak side defenders all turn their heads to stare at the ball, allowing Jefferson an easy cut to the rim. With Kyrie running the show, they break back into Horns, and before Kyrie can even set the back screen, Patterson is switching too early, an easy read for Jefferson, gorgeous bounce pass by LeBron. Now let's look at how the Raptors responded to losing the lead, when it seemed like this game would slip out of their hands. LeBron takes DeRozan to try and slow him down, Lowry ball screens, LeBron goes underneath, good challenge, better shot. The Cavs turn to Horns again with Kyrie out top, he sets the back screen for Jefferson, not effective, so Kyrie progresses into the handoff from LeBron. Lowry is all over it, taking away the handoff, forcing LeBron to swing it to Fry. Terrific defense all around by everyone, the clock winds down and Lowry can test this shot into a miss. The Cavs go to high horns, but it's inverted with their guards at the high post setting the screen. It gets to Rosen and LeBron, who spots Fry on the lift to the left wing. But Carroll is all over it on the switch and Cleveland comes up empty. Here is where the Cavs started to get stagnant. Four guys standing around watching LeBron. And while he does get to the hoop, you can see he has no explosion left as a result of playing 43 of the 45 minutes thus far and blows the layup. Here was the key play of the game. Down three, the Cavs run a high post split with LeBron, Jefferson, and Kyrie. As Kyrie fakes coming up for the handoff, LeBron gets caught holding the ball with only one hand. While Lowry totally fouls him, perhaps it was the basketball gods evening things out for some of the no calls in the first half, and Lowry gets free throws as he gets LeBron to foul him at the brim. In change of the terrible Cavs offense they ran in the finals last year, while they do get a mismatch of Lowry on LeBron, it turns into a stagnant ISO on the left side. Jefferson gets in position to flare screen for Delhi, and LeBron waits for the perfect time, just as Patterson came over to double. Wide open shot, Delhi can't hit, long rebound to a wide open Fry, and he can't hit either, but Delhi makes a very smart play to take the foul on Biombo, who splits the pair of free throws. Same stagnant ISO post up for LeBron, and Jefferson ducks in off this flare. Patterson was great all night defensively and smothers it, leading up to an ISO out top. 
Kyrie dances, Biombo's right there, yet gets this shot stuck in his eye. With LeBron on DeRozan still, they try pick and roll, then a rescreen. LeBron smothers the whole thing, forcing the pass. As the clock winds down, Lowry throws a poor pass. DeRozan had to wait for it, then toss this up. But watch Jefferson on the weak side. He never even looked to box out his own man, who calmly, gla who calmly grabs the wide open board. And they catch J.R. Smith sleeping as DeRozan gets into the lane. Nice pass, nice finish. So the Cavs went from continually running a fantastic set in horns to continually running a stagnant set with the stagnant ISO in the post. The spacing is bad on the weak side. Fry, Jefferson, and Smith are too close together, allowing Patterson to easily double again. On the kick out and swing, Biombo had to pick up J.R. Smith, who thought he was forced to shoot it even though he caught it with 8 seconds. And Dwayne Casey, Drake, and Biombo combined to get a stop and almost seal the win. Desperate for a stop, Cleveland puts LeBron again on DeRozan, and the Raptors come precariously close to turning this ball over. However, Lowry comes down with the ball, attacks LeBron, but great defense to smother it and force the bad shot. However, you've got Fry against Biombo, and that's no contest if the ball bounces right. With the extra possession, Dwayne Casey damn well makes sure he gets the timeout called. They didn't draw up anything too fancy, but a good pin down for Carroll before he screened the ball. Smith was late with his hedge, and as the clock winds down, LeBron simply must rotate to help on this. If there's a pass, the clock probably expires. Yet, LeBron just stands there, Lowry gets the layup, and now this series is an improbable 2-2. Nobody gave them much of a chance, and they head back to Cleveland to prove that this wasn't a small two-game fluke.